Good morning, good morning. Susie from Create Your Canvas. We are here live, gonna do our painting. So exciting, it's Friday. Gotta love Friday. Unless you work the weekend, then you probably don't love Friday. But, um, but yeah. Oh wait, I think this might have the video. Whew, okay, we caught the sound. Yay. All right, so today I want to paint the cute little chipmunk with the grapes. Isn't he cute? Um, thought we'd have a little fun. It won't take too long. Um, I'm trying very diligently to keep these videos down to 20 to 30 minutes at the most. And I think for the most part I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, it's all good, you know, because if you need to watch it again, you can just watch it again. Um, it's not like if you miss it live, it never comes back on. So, uh, anyway, let's get this party going. We're going to flip the camera, turn on the spotlight, and we'll get this show on the road. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Let's check out my view. Okay. I'm not really even sure we need a light. Do we need a light? Maybe we do. We'll see. Let me just check and wait just like a smidgen. It's really not any different, is it? Eh, it's okay. No worries. All right. We're going to start our cute little chippy monk. I don't know if I'm going to do this tree. You know what? I think I'm going to, because I like the tree. So we're gonna do this. Go on the back, make the built-in carbon paper using a pencil. Remember, this is a graphite pencil. It's um, it's actually a wooden, woodless graphite pencil. I love it because with the woodless, you can use the entire pencil. Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's get this going. All right, I think I'm going to put him kind of towards the bottom because I'm going to extend this tree. Um, yeah, somebody stole my pencil. Um, all right, well, I guess it's a good thing we have more than one. All right, so I'm going to draw him out. Remember, as always, draw as much or as little as you need not me, but you, to feel comfortable painting him. Okay, I wanted to let you know that this is actually like, um, I found it on Pinterest, I think, but it's actually like a little uh, felt person. It's not like real, <laughs> not person, felt animal. I didn't know that at first. I just thought, wow, you know, how do you get a little chipmunk to pose like that? Well, you make him out of felt and he doesn't go anywhere. He's like there forever. Okay, he has a little tail here. So yeah, um, just saying here, I thought it was like, I mean, it's still adorable Okay, that's my tree. Da, 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 da. All right, and he's got these little furs out here. No worries. Okie dokie, artichokies. So I'm gonna take this. Remember, this is just our reference. It is not something that we have to make it exactly like it is. Um, we are just referencing. We can change anything about our chipmunk that we like. We could put cherries in his hands instead of grapes. We could make him darker, more red, whatever you like. Okay, so and once again, we're gonna use just blue, red, and yellow. That is the theme for this month. Um, and then I think, uh, I know that the next subscription box has black and white in it. I just um, fine tuning out my pictures to get in there. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna do just black and white, but I don't know. 
you know me. I kind of sort of wing it, but I guess I only have like a couple hours more to wing it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with him. Okay, he is kind of, at least in our picture, and from what I remember of chipmunks, because I don't necessarily watch them a lot, um, that they're kind of a reddish brown. And so we're going to take the colors that we had. Actually, you know what? I think I want to start over. So what I'll do is I'm going to take some water and we're going to clean these out. Okay. It's just bottled water. It's no big deal. Okay. Sometimes it's a great to be able to reuse the, the colors from last time, but um, I actually, at the last minute, I'm deciding I don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna just wash them out. Ta-da! And those magical colors are now gone. Okay, now. He's kind of a reddish brown, so I'm gonna put some water here, but I'm gonna get some red. Now to make brown, brown is a combination of red, blue, and yellow, in case you didn't know that. Oops, wrong paintbrush, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna add water to red, blue, and yellow. We're gonna start by making orange, okay? because I want it to have a hint of red-ish orange. So when you do this, it's better to start to get the tone of the red that you want, which is this is beautiful, but then I want to tone it down just a smidge. So I'm gonna take just a little blue and start to, okay. Now see how it made it more of a greenish color? Just means we need more red, no worries. So I want to keep the cast of the red-ish color. Don't you just love my terms? See, this is why I'm not an art teacher. Because I don't want to use the actual terms. I don't remember them. <laughs> All right, so I like this color. Okay. But I'm going to take just a little red over here. Wash my brush out. Because this little section over here, I want it to have more of a red-ish orange cast. Okay, there we go. So this is the brown. This will be my base color. There we go. So kind of half and half. All right, now, so I'm gonna use this as my base color. I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna add in this color. To everywhere he has this brownish color, okay? Because remember, we like to work in layers. Just some layers, just kind of, if you see, I'm not, it's not any brush strokes. Okay, we're just dousing in some color to have a base coat. So we kind of start to see how beautiful he is, okay? All right, now, his white is super white, so we're gonna try and leave the white background, okay? I'm gonna add a little red with less water, because I have a lot of water in here. I have lots of water. Okay, add a little more yellow, so I get this orange tone. But I'm still gonna take some of this other color and bring it in. Okay, so then in here, we're gonna start to add in some of this orange-ish color. Maybe up in here. But if you see, it's changing it, but it's not changing it a whole lot. So what we need to do is add some really, really highly pigmented color. So I'm gonna really work the water into the paint itself so that it gets stronger pigment, okay? That just means that we're gonna use less water. That's all that means. Dry and wash my brush. And along this edge, I really wanna pick up some highly pigmented color. So that's just less water. 
I really want to dissolve this solid watercolor into here. There we go. Okay. Now I can start to put in, there we go, much better. Put in some up here. It's now that I have the base coat, oops. I really wanna start paying attention to how am I putting in the hair, okay? So try to do like little paintbrush lines so that you start to do the hair. Okay, now it's super yellow and I'm I, it's too much yellow, so I'm gonna add more red. It's more of a yellow orange and we want more of a reddish orange. Okay, and I'm actually gonna take just a smidge, but I'm gonna put it over here first of blue because I need to tone it down. I don't want like, ooh, he's been in a fight. We don't want to fight, okay? We want, ooh, that's a really pretty color. Let's go that direction. All right, see, see how this works? Okay, I'm gonna let some of that brighter color stand out. Dun, da, da, da. You know, and who knows? Maybe he won't turn out quite as beautiful as the duck. Ooh, that's too much. I think so far the duck is still my favorite. Um, yeah, I think he is. Don't know why. He just is. Okay, I'm picking up some more reddish color because that's what I need. Oh, is he not gonna be so adorable? So stinking adorable. I love him already. You know, when I first picked him out, I thought he was a squirrel, but he's not. He's a chipmunk and we love chipmunks. Okay, I'm gonna put a first coat of his eye in. Because remember, a lot of times we have to work in layers. And I think we're gonna put, I'm gonna take a little water to thin out that color so I can put a shadow underneath here. Okay, because it's gonna make the white look whiter. Well, I think we need a little color out here. Dun, dun, dun. And then this little red-ish color. He's got this cute little nose and he's just so cute. He just makes you want to pick him up and cuddle him. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Okay. I think so far he looks pretty good. I'm going to take a little yellow. A smidgen of that color. Look, there's our grape color. That was easy. Yellow with a little blue creates our grape color. <clears throat> and then the grapes, if you look, they have like this smidgen of the same color that's in his face. So we're going to put a little here. Because you know like those green grapes, they're always like they have a little bit of, um, of this tinge of brown. So that's what we're doing. All right. Now, because of he's so small, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of the background just to kind of work out where we're at. So I'm gonna take this color, which is his base color, mix a little more blue in it, and we're gonna put that on the background. So I'm just gonna take lots of water, lots of water, mix that in. Because remember, I don't care about going clear to the edge. 
We don't care about that. That just to me seems like a lot of effort. Okay, we'll fill in this background just to take away the stark white, which also will make this a lot whiter. Whiter, not wider, but whiter. Ooh, too blue. Let's mix all this colors in. There we go. I like this darkness for down in here too. See how it changes it and it makes it like, um, it makes him pop out more. That's what we need. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that was easy, easy peasy. Now we need a brown, so this is more blue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some red, kind of start to make it a purple. See how it's purple now? And then from the purple, that's where we're gonna add in the yellow. Okay. Mansion that is there. Um, so we're actually gonna need it to be a little thicker. Okay, so remember how I told you we can make it look darker? Is we have to have more pigment. So I'm just gonna really work the water into the solid watercolor so that we can get lots of pigment. Okay, now see how deep dark purple that is? It'll make it a nice color. A nice, nice, nice color. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing. I just kind of have the tip in this here and it kind of makes a circle in there and it's really nice, I like that. Go round and round and round and round and round. And then we're gonna mix that in here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's kind of a greenish color, which just means we have too much blue and yellow. So we'll take a little more. It's always good to start with a little bit of color and then decide how much more we need. I think this might be good. Because if you add too much like red, because if it's too green, then you need to add some red in. If you add too much, then you gotta go back and add more blue and add more yellow. And um, so it's just kind of, you know, crazy like that. So my suggestion is that you add in a little at a time. Okay, so here's my branch. My little, it must be like a little twig. Like a brand new, um, what are they called? Sapling. Okay, so we're gonna stick that in here. And then it probably branch here. Oops. Well, I guess it's gonna have a branch there since I just messed up. It'll have a short branch. Um, and then maybe one right here. They're not huge and this is little, so we don't wanna give it too many. Okay. All right, so I wanna give it a little bit more deep color. So I'm gonna add a little red, maybe even a smidgen of yellow. I'm gonna put that darkness on just one side-ish, kind of give it a little more depth and direction. Um, you know, have fun with it. Don't worry. It is a painting, okay? We're not doing brain surgery. Um, we're not doing any of that. So please don't feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. It is a stress reliever, remember? We're not, um, we're not trying to create, you know, anything that's gonna, we're gonna win awards with. It is a relaxation tool that I really want you to use um, to find peace in your day even if it's just for 20 minutes, okay? And all I'm doing is washing my brush and whatever water's still on here, picking up some of this color to give it a little highlight, okay? Just peeling off some of that color. See how it takes it and it makes it pop out like it's brighter now? I love it. Okay, then we need some green because I'm gonna put in some can you see this greenery back here? That's It must be a, obviously a pine tree, a pine tree sapling. So I'm gonna take 
some of my yellow. I'm gonna take this dirty looking blue here because I don't want my green to be like woo green. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be um, a neon green like that. We don't want that color. <laughs> yes, that's what I just said. I tell you what we don't want and then I, that's what I make. Okay, I think this is okay. All right, so then I'm just gonna kind of put some little greenery here okay remember I'm just giving the impression okay it that it's it's a pine tree okay. I'm not really concerned that um, um, yeah <laughs> I'm not concerned if it's you know perfect I'm just thinking how do I want my little fir tree to look okay so if if remember your it, art is an illusion okay so if you see this and you see these little leaves that look like this your mind already says oh it must be a Christmas tree it must be an evergreen tree um, you don't really have to have a whole lot for it to start to have that illusion and your brain always latches on to the things it already knows. Even if it's wrong and you go, oh, well, you know, it must be this because that's what it learned in the past. Um, it's okay. But that's the first thing it's gonna go to, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna take a little this dark, darker color to add in just a little of some darkness so that it looks more three-dimensional instead of, oh, well, they're kind of drowned it out, you know, that type of thing. So just add in a couple. All I'm doing is I touch close to the branch and flick out, just like you can see how I just flick out. Flick, flick, flick. Okay, so nothing massive. I actually want a couple that are a little deeper in color. What is it, like a blue spruce? So we're gonna add a little blue. This spot right here really bothers me. Okay, I should probably just stop while I'm ahead, huh? That's better. Okay, I think that's good. Ha ha, we fixed it. See, when in doubt, pick it up with some water. It's all good. Okay, but I am gonna let that dry because that one spot's gonna bother me, but we're gonna do it in layers because we're gonna go back to our cute little chipmunk and finish him out. All right, so I'm gonna take this darker color because I kind of like it. I'm gonna add just a smidgen of red to it to brighten it up just a little. And then we're gonna make his ear right here look a little darker. Add a little redness in here. We have to be careful with the red because we really, really, really don't want it to look like, oh, he just got in a fight with another one. That's bad. <laughs> so, so, so bad. Okay, so I love this color that we used for the tree. It's super nice. This might be one, because he kind of blends in a little bit, um, we, we might actually have to use like uh, the Sharpie pencil, Sharpie marker. I'm kind of veering off now from my uh, sample, which, hear me, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. I want you to make him your own. You know, it's, he's, if we wanted the picture, we would just, 
do the picture. You know, put the picture in a frame. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just kind of veering off and how do I want mine to look? And as it dries, you can go back and soften things, okay? It's easy peasy. I'm gonna take this little bit of blue and, oops, that's not quite the color I wanted. Make his eye a little darker. Okay. So, you can choose to do um, the Sharpie or you can make this really dark color to light outline him. You know what, I think I'm gonna do the Sharpie. I just wanna. I think he needs to be finished out with the Sharpie because he has like this eye that needs to be darker. If it wasn't wet, I would not be. Okay, there we go. Okay, then he has this ear. This is the, I don't wanna say like the cheating way, but because we don't have black and white and he's, he's pretty intense. He's not like our panda where we can um, improvise because his whole body's that color. Um, this one is a little bit harder, so just get your Sharpie out. No harm in doing it this way at all. Remember, have fun with it. This is a relaxation tool that you have at your fingertips, even if you don't do the subscription box. I mean, you so can do this. You just need some watercolors. Um, see how cute he is? He's just adorable. I love him. I think he's cute. Just use some watercolors. Have a little fun with him. Okay. I like that much better. I'm going to add a little darkness underneath him. Just because he's kind of, he's supposed to have a shadow. Give him a little depth. Give him a little character. Have a little fun. It is all good. Okay, there, see how fun he is? He's just adorable, okay? I just want you to have fun. Please don't take yourself seriously. I try really hard not to take myself seriously and it's all good. Um, seven, 16, I haven't been putting those down. So anyway, I think he can be Chuck the Chipmunk. I like Chuck, okay. I love him. I think I think he's about done. I think we're gonna take a little darkness and bring in a couple little dark ones here. There. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I like him. We're gonna call him done. <laughs> we'll call him done because I gotta keep these at um I gotta keep them. 20 to 30 minutes, and I think we've went on the 30 minutes. Closer to probably 32. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So here he is, Chuck the Chipmunk. Um, he's not like, you know, like necessarily the best in the world, but you know what? We spent a little bit of time today being creative. We um, found some joy in our morning. We relaxed, we focused. Um, we had our beverage of choice, and yeah. We just learned a little bit more about the colors red, blue, and yellow and how they mix and the different shades and colors that you can create from the three, three primary colors. Um, 
Anyway, so thank you for joining me this morning. If you guys could give me a thumbs up or a heart or a smiley face or whatever um, is offered there, the more interaction, Facebook tends to like that. Um, and share, share, share with all of your friends. I look forward to painting with you Monday at 8.05. Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks. And you guys have an amazing weekend. And I hope you um, are safe. So God bless. Bye. Thank you.